kids, welcome to my channel. My name is Lizzie. Are you ready for another back to school story? We are reading Strawberry Shortcake Goes to School. Are you ready for school? It's coming up very soon or it might have already started depending on where you are. <laughs> um, if you need a drink or a snack or if you have to go potty, now would be a good time to hit the pause button. If not, we're going to go right into Strawberry Shortcake Goes to School. <laughs> All right, are you ready? Today is the first day of school. Strawberry Shortcake told her pets Custard and Pup Cake. I am very excited. I can't wait to see my classroom and meet the kids in my class. What should I wear to school? Strawberry wondered aloud. How should I know? Custard grumbled sleepily. Cats don't go to school. Oh, Custard, you are so silly, Strawberry giggled. I know. I will wear my favorite jeans and my striped shirt, and I'll bring my red sweatshirt. <laughs> there she is. I want to look nice on my first day at school. Do you pick out your outfit before your first day? <laughs> Strawberry quickly got dressed. Then she packed her backpack. I think I will bring a pencil and paper and my box of crayons for coloring, she said. I will bring my lunch to school and my brand new lunch box. Strawberry told Custard and Pupcake. Strawberry made a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. She packed a bag full of strawberries. She wrapped up two strawberry chip cookies and then she placed a box of strawberry juice in her lunch box. Yum! <laughs> Looks like somebody colored on this book from my daycare, huh? That's okay. We can still read it. So it looks like she likes everything with strawberry on it. <laughs> strawberry Shortcake looked at the clock. Oh, no. School starts in 10 minutes. I better hurry up or I'll be late. She grabbed her backpack and dashed out the door. Goodbye, Custard and Pupcake. I'll be back after school, okay? I wish we could come with you, said Custard. I'll be back before you know it. I promise, Strawberry said. Oh, no, quick, run out the door so she's not late. Don't want to get a tardy on your first day. <laughs> Strawberry walked quickly. Finally, she saw her school. Wow, it looks so big, she thought to herself. Who will I play with? Who will I sit with at lunch? Strawberry felt a little scared. Strawberry was glad to see her friends at school. Hi, Orange Blossom and Huckleberry Pie. Hello, Angel Cake. I'm so glad to see you, Ginger Snap, she called. I thought I wouldn't know any kids in my class. We're glad to see you too, Strawberry, her friends answered. Oh, no, they did color on them. Do you see it? And somebody colored on our book. That's okay. <laughs> it's probably a little, little one. Look, Strawberry, everyone in the class has their own cubby, said Huckleberry Pie ex excitedly. Very cool, Strawberry replied. She found her cubby and put her backpack and sweatshirt inside. Come on, Strawberry, said Huck. Put your lunch away and come sit next to me. My lunch? Uh-oh, where's my lunch box? Strawberry wondered. It wasn't in her backpack. It wasn't under her sweatshirt. It wasn't on the floor. Oh, no, I left my lunch at home. Oh, no, I hate it when I forget my lunch. It's just the worst day. What would Strawberry do? There wasn't enough time for her to go home to get her lunch. School had already started. When the kids sang the alphabet song, Strawberry didn't sing loud like everybody else. She didn't feel like it. She was sad about her lunch. I'm already hungry. What will I do when it's lunchtime and I have nothing to eat, she wondered. Next, it was time for counting. The kids counted their numbers from 1 to 10. But Strawberry didn't want to count her numbers. She was still worried about lunchtime. Oh no, poor Strawberry. Don't you hate it when your tummy's grumbling in class? <laughs> At lunchtime, all of the kids rushed to their cubbies, but not Strawberry. I made a peanut butter and huckleberry jam sandwich. I can't wait to eat it, Huck told his friends. I made special cookies in the shape of crayons, exclaimed Ginger Snap. 
What did you bring, Strawberry? asked Orange Blossom. Nothing, Strawberry told her friend sadly. I forgot my lunch at home. She began to cry. Oh no, poor Strawberry. Don't cry, Strawberry Shortcake, Orange Blossom said. But what will I eat for lunch? asked Strawberry Shortcake sadly. Angel Cake had an idea. Strawberry, you can have some of my lunch if you want. I will share my lunch with you too, offered Orange Blossom. Me too, said Ginger Snap. Oh, look at that. What nice friends. Do you share with your friends at lunchtime when you're at school? I hope so. <laughs> wow, that's very nice of you. What very kind friends you are, Strawberry Shortcake said. Ginger Snap gave Strawberry Shortcake a delicious crayon-shaped cookie decorated with frosting and sparkly sprinkles. Ooh, I want a crayon cookie. That looks good. <laughs> orange Blossom poured some orange juice into a cup for Strawberry. Angel Cake gave Strawberry Shortcake a tiny Strawberry Shortcake with lots of whipped cream. Yum! Strawberry shortcake is strawberry shortcake's favorite dish. <laughs> I would think so. She's named after it. All her friends giving her nice yummy stuff. Not very healthy. <laughs> Huck, what do you have? asked Ginger Snap. Well, I only have one sandwich, Huck replied quietly, and I want to eat it. But Huck, sharing doesn't mean that you have to give away all of your sandwich, just part of it. When friends share, everyone gets something, explained Orange Blossom. Huck thought for a minute, then he broke his sandwich in half and gave it to Strawberry. Here you go, Strawberry. I hope you like Huckleberry Jam. Aww, well good friends. See him, Sharon. Thanks, Huck. Thanks, everybody. This lunch is delicious. Just then, Custard and Pupcake arrived. Strawberry, you left your lunch at home. We were so worried that you wouldn't have anything to eat, Custard said excitedly. Barely taking a breath, Pupcake wagged his tail. Wow, thank you, Custard and Pupcake. Now I can share the lunch that I made with everyone, Strawberry exclaimed. But when Strawberry opened her lunchbox, it was empty. You silly dog, shouted Custard. I told you to carry Strawberry's lunch, not eat it. It's okay, Pupcake. Lucky for me, my very best friends shared their lunches, Strawberry told her dog. <laughs> oh no, the dog ate her lunch anyway. Oh my goodness. That was a bad dog. <laughs> After lunch, it was time for recess. Strawberry and her friends had lots of fun on the playground. Ooh, recess was my favorite. I loved going outside to play, even in the winter. <laughs> After recess, Custard and Pupcake headed home, and the kids went back inside the classroom. They were tired after so much running around. Luckily, it was rest time. The first day of school was over. It was time to go home. It had been a great day. Aw, I wish I could take a nap. <laughs> School is very cool. See you tomorrow, everybody. And I promise I won't forget my lunch. <laughs> very nice. That and I hope you liked it. Okay, you know what's coming, right? Be good to your parents. Be good to your teachers and your school bus drivers. And your gym teachers, they're still teachers too. And all your elderly people in your community and in your family. Be good to other kids like you, other classmates and siblings. But most importantly, be good to you, okay? I'll see you all next time. Bye.